Hey, what's up guys? Lasercom here, bringing you yet another Borderlands 2 video. Today we're, we're going to be talking about Seraph weapons and equipment. So, the first up is the Patriot, and it's a sniper. And it's pretty good. It comes in every element. Um, I don't have all of them to show you. The next is the Actualizer, which is a Hyperion submachine gun. This one's really good. You can find versions that have a little, really high damage, and that's good. But this is way better than any other submachine gun I've seen, so that's good. And this is the Tatter, or Tattler, sorry guys. It's got um, times 2 submachine gun. It's, in my opinion, I don't like it. It's kind of crappy, because uh, the accuracy is like... It's horrible accuracy. Um, so I keep firing it here a little bit. And next up is the Retcher. I think that's, yeah. Ret, yeah. Sorry guys, I'm really tired here. I don't know, but this is the Retcher and it kind of has a baby effect when you throw it because it's a TDR, as you can see there. When you throw it, there's the initial explosion and then a little tiny explosion off there. So that's pretty cool. I don't really like these. Um, ignore this, I'll show it a little bit later. I actually was out of ammo when I recorded this. So um, that's the Ahab. I'll talk about it a little bit later. And um, next up is the Seraphim, which is a assault rifle. I really like this one. Uh, it's not as good as the Varuk, uh, but pretty nice I mean it's a good fire weapon as far as I'm concerned I've only seen regular and fire and that's all so here's the Ahab now this is a rocket launcher it's actually really good it's one of my favorites it doesn't shoot rockets it shoots arrows that explode so I showed off here a little bit and um, the it doesn't have much range though which kind of disappointed me but whatever i'll show that right here i come back here you can see where it lands it's down yep so it's not as good as uh it could be and then next up is the destructor this one is a really good pistol here and it is it shoots two bullets with, um, it's like a burst. It's not even dull either, so it's pretty cool. And, um, so yeah, I'll shoot that a little bit for you guys. And then up next, I'm going to be showing off the equipment, which is the shield and relic. I shoot this forever here and a uh, quick thing sorry for not making a video in a while guys been really busy lately so yeah um, right here I actually compare it to the neo generator which is the evolution is the serif version well not serif what am I talking about this is serif shield it's really good compared to the neo generator um, depending on which ones you find I found a really good one but um, next up is the Blood of Seraphs, which is better than the Blood of Terramorphus. And this one actually changes upon equipping. I know people have said it changes when you travel or when you die, but that actually isn't the case, which I'll show you guys coming up right here pretty soon. And um, so I'll travel right here and I'll show you it again. It hasn't changed at all. Um, the only other time that changes, uh, besides equipping it, is when you save and exit, and that also changes it, as far as I'm concerned. So, right here I will show that it's the same stats. So yeah, you can see it didn't change at all. And then right here I'll actually die to show you that it doesn't change upon death either. Uh. 
So as soon as I pull up my menu, you can see that it hasn't changed at all. But uh, that about finishes this up, and uh, thanks for watching guys. This is LazyCom signing out.